everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. So this week we have done our weekly shopping in Waitrose and it's a bit of a funny one this week because unfortunately we didn't book a slot in time. We usually would have a slot on a Friday um, but they didn't have anything until Sunday. So we actually had to go to co-op to get a few things. So this isn't a full weekly shop of what we get from Waitrose. Um, it's very slightly less but there is still a lot here. I think we just had to get a few bits of fruit. I think maybe a bit of bread from the co-op. I don't think there was much more than that. Um, but anyway, yeah, you'll see what we've got from Waitrose. So I really hope that you enjoy seeing everything that we've got in this food haul. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching food hauls because I post mine every Friday. So yeah, I'd really love to have you here, but I'm going to get straight into it and show you what we've got. So this is what our shopping looks like this week. And as you can probably tell, if you aren't new, it's a bit less because usually it would like come up to here. So there's just a few items missing, but I will go through what we have here. This is still quite a lot, as you can see. I think it came to about £70. Um, so just starting off with a few um, random bits. We just needed some more toothpaste. So we've got a tube of that there. Um, and also some anti back wipes. And this is really good because they are actually biodegradable. And I have to be honest, having wet wipes is just really handy. We don't use them loads, but they're just really useful to have. So yeah, we've got a packet of those, but the fact that they're biodegradable is really good. Um, now, this came, but unfortunately, I mean, this came last night, um, but it ha had actually leaked when my husband was unpacking it. It had leaked, so we have, um, Complained to Waitrose about that because obviously it could have gone a bit messy. It wasn't too bad, but still obviously there's a bit Missing unfortunately, but yeah, we just got their own make of washing up liquid there And I have to say out of all the supermarkets Waitrose is really good with like returns or giving you your money back um, You know if things are like short dated and stuff. They're really good and their delivery is free. So um, yeah, we do like shopping at Waitrose So on to the food we have some cornflakes there and we just get these organic ones. They are gluten free, but they are really nice um, and we like that they are organic as well. We've got Waitrose a make of Weetabix there and our favourite porridge, which I'm sure you have heard me talk about if you have seen my food hauls before because we really do like this porridge. Last week we got Stokes, I think, which was a substitution. Um, actually, it's pretty good. Um, they're quite big oats, but yeah, this is still our favourite. We've just got some bread. So as I said, we did have to get bread a few days ago, um, but we still did need more this week. And we've had a, a few slices of this, but this is only like a half loaf anyway. So it's not much bigger than this. Um, and this is just their own make. It's, what's it called? A wholemeal seeded half bloomer. And it is organic too. And it's just really nice spread. It's really big slices too, which is good. And then we've just got a small crusty white loaf, which will be for my son, Arthur. And that looks really nice. These were also a substitution. So we wanted, um, I can't remember what we asked now, but it was like small bags, probably like, I think it was like a variety of flavors that they have, but they didn't have them. So they just substituted with two big bags. So this is like one bag of sweet chili with lemon, which, you know, it's not too, not too bad, but um, obviously we would have preferred individual packets. But yeah, so we've got two of those. And then we've also got a six pack of Waitrose's Omic of ready sorted crisps. I needed some tea bags, so I've just got these ones, which I always get. These are clipper decaf ones. Um, and I can't remember like exactly the like the science or whatever, but usually when you have decaf, um, it's like made decaffeinated in a certain way and it's not great, but these are actually decaf differently. Um, I can't remember. I probably used to know, but I've forgotten. But yeah, so I always buy these um, and yeah, they're really nice. This clipper is really good tea. So snack wise, as I said, we probably have, I can't remember if we've bought anything um, recently. I don't think we bought much to be fair, um, but we've just got some of our Nairn's dark chocolate chip oat biscuits, which we do often buy. We've got some crackers there and this is new. We've not tried these before. Waitrose's chocolate chip shortbread but we thought we would give that a go i love shortbread especially if it's chocolate shortbread so yeah i'm really looking forward to trying those we've also got these digestives which we do often buy at waitrose they're only a pound um and they're really really nice so we've got those we've got a small packet of cashew nuts here which are probably mainly for my husband i probably won't 
have these. I might have like the odd few, um, but he will mainly have those. And then we've just got a bar of chocolate there. Um, and then, sorry, these have been opened as well today. Um, this, these are our favourite bars, which again, so if you see my food hauls, a lot of this I do buy every week. Um, but they're just things that we just really love. So these are lovely as a snack. Um, fairly healthy too, they are gluten free if you are gluten free um, and yeah it's obviously just bars, they look like that but I'm sure you will have seen them before um, but yeah they're really good so that is our snacks and then for the cupboard um, we've got some passata here so we've got two different passatas also some rice and we always get whole grain rice for us um, we give Arthur white rice because apparently that is better for them um, but yeah, we've got whole grain. We needed some more baked beans, so we've just got um, waitresses make of baked beans and also some sweet corn, which is for Arthur. Um, as I said, if you're new, he is, well, he's actually 19 months today as I'm filming this. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of, last time he had sweet corn, I can't remember, did he eat it? Sometimes he has, sometimes he hasn't, but it's just something different just to like put a little bit with his lunch or whatever. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd get a little tin of that. And then also chopped tomatoes, which we do go through quite a lot. We do have quite a lot of meals with chopped tomatoes. We've got a leek there um, for something different. We actually had two, but we've had that for tea. Um, so yeah, we've got some leek. We also got some potatoes. We did buy more potatoes because we'd run out, um, whatever it was, a few days ago. So we, that's what we bought in the co-op, as I said. We had to buy a few extra things. Also got tomatoes. I think I, I did actually want, probably usually get like four or five. Um, my husband's not sure if he did it accidentally or if Waitrose accidentally didn't put as much in. We've, we've only been charged for two, which, which is fine, but obviously I would have liked a few more. But yeah, I've got tomatoes and I just have them like with lunch sometimes or in a sandwich or whatever. We've got a packet of carrots there and then also some mushrooms too, which I do enjoy having. And then fruit is a little bit sparse this week. So again, we bought grapes and strawberries a couple of days ago, so we didn't need them. Usually we buy that every week, but we did get these raspberries and we had asked for the organic punnet because they were really, really nice last time we had them. Um, so I think we've had raspberries before and they weren't great. So we tried the organic ones and they were really tasty, but they didn't have them. So this was their substitute, but it has worked out quite well because this is a massive packet, or it was, we've had some, because um, it wasn't like full to the brim. But yeah, so it worked out quite well for us anyway. We've also got some bananas there um, and also a packet of pink lady apples. So then the only thing left is the fridge and freezer section, which is quite small really. We've got some eggs, so we've got 12 eggs there. Um, we have that for like lunch, poached eggs or something, um, you know, sort of we give one a boiled egg for Arthur, we might have an omelette, things like that. So yeah, we always need a few eggs. I actually just made some pancakes and fritters for him last night. So eggs are always coming useful. We've got some cheese each. So my husband likes the organic mature cheddar one. That is again, just Waitrose's own make of cheese. And then I've got this cocoa one. I kind of go between different makes of cheese, really. I like Fire Life, which is really good for melting. I just like um, like Sainsbury's own make I've bought before, which I do like as well. And then this one is another one, Coco. So yeah, I'm not like too fussy about vegan cheese. To, well, I like those three makes. Apparently Applewood is really good. I've never tried that. Um, I think it might be more expensive actually. Anyway, yeah, so that's that. This is the butter that we buy. So this is Original Flora. It is a dairy-free one. It's vegan, as you can see there. So yeah, we buy that and that's a really nice one. We've got some yogurt each, so my husband has his natural Yo Valley one and I've got this one. And actually today, um, usually, I don't know if you remember me saying a few weeks ago maybe, or, um, Arthur loves yogurt and I always used to have yogurt with honey as a snack. But I hadn't had it for ages because Arthur would just like eat loads of it um, and I wouldn't get any. I just obviously I'd rather he had it because... He doesn't eat that much, so I'd rather just like give him something he would eat sort of thing. Um, but today I actually had some because Arthur had a bit of my husband's, um, so I had a bit of mine. So yeah, that was good. Uh, just with honey, I need some more seeds actually, but yeah, just with honey, that was really good. Um, then I've got two rice milks here. I really love rice milks. Um, coconut milk, we could have done with another one. I'm not sure why we've only got one. Um, 
unfortunately. And also some whole milk there. So I think we already had some milk, um, as I said, that we bought a couple of days ago. So hopefully this will last us. As I've said recently, we do usually go to the shop around a Tuesday to buy some more fruit. So I think this week we'll probably go like a day later Wednesday. I'll probably buy, these will probably last us a couple more days, but we'll probably buy maybe like a pile of grapes or more strawberries or something. Um, and I don't know, milk might be all right. We might be all right for the rest of the, the rest of the week, maybe some bananas too. But yeah, we just do like another little, little top up shop, not too much. Um, we've got this pizza base, which is our favourite one. We always buy this every time we shop in Waitrose. Um, it's just really nice. It's got already got the passata on it, and it's a sourdough one, and it's really good. We obviously just add our own toppings there. We've got cauldron sausages, which we might we may have with a paella. I think that'd be quite good to have this week. Um, I've got these plant-based fingers so it's basically a vegetarian alternative to fish fingers I've had them before and they're really nice so I bought a pack of those this week I'll tell you the best vegan fish I think that I find anyway is from Tesco it's their own make of fish cakes they're really really good um really nice but these are pretty good too and then the very last thing that we needed was some frozen broccoli so yeah that is everything that we have bought in Waitrose this time I really hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that we have bought in Waitrose. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!